Hey, what is up guys, it's Captain here, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick fast tutorial on how to port forward your server. This is particularly for Rust, but it works the same way if you're doing a port forward, if you're trying to port forward your server for Hurt World, Garry's Mod, Team Fortress 2, or any other game that runs off of Steam. It should work the same exact way. So, the first thing you want to do, actually, yeah, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to your computer's run program. I'm using Windows 10. If you have Windows 8, 7, it should work fine. Um, if you have the older Windows, you probably want to look for the search command and type in run. And it'll open something like this. Next thing you want to do is you want to type in cmd and it'll open your command prompt right here. What you want to do is type in ipconfig. It'll give you all your information about your computer. Next thing you want to do is you want to look for your default gateway an ethernet adapter just like such things like this like 2620 and 9b yeah none of that stuff is the same thing so you just want to look for the thing like shows your ip4 then your subnet mask and all that stuff default gateway 192.168.1.1 you want to go ahead and type that into your browser like so it'll bring you here you want to go ahead and log into your router I actually have a custom code, like a custom password, so I don't know what your guys' would be. It'd be something, it, you can call your router provider, like yeah, your like internet provider, such as like, my name is Verizon, so they actually left a sticker on the router with the, with the password, and I just put that in, so that's what you could do. If you don't have a sticker, you don't know how, any other way to do it, you can just look up like port forward passwords um yeah default route router passwords and you can l you can research on all y there's plenty of routers you can research belkin dell and all this other stuff you can just research you can find the password such as admin password admin one two three password you know same thing okay so i'm gonna go to my firewall hit yes or proceed and port forwarding I do have a different router, so it's probably going to take a while for you to be able to find the same thing, but every single router should have the same exact thing. Mine's in my firewall, yours is probably in advanced, so I'm going to go to my firewall, port forwarding, and then here's where I port forward all my informa information. So what you would do here is you would, where it says select IP from menu, you could specify your IP, and you want to go ahead and type in, well actually, we actually need that open, so. so as you can see right here, Captain Deal 62, that's this is my computer. This is like you know my computer. And this was let's say I was trying to make a dedicated server and I want to run the servers off of my computer. This is where I would do it. I would enter This is what you would do mo most likely everyone here would do the same thing unless they have a server tower like I do right here. I have all my servers running here. I just got it all set up yesterday, so there's not actually any, not a lot of players on there, unfortunately, but, um, but in your case, you're probably going to be port forwarding on your computer, hosting servers on your computer, dedicated servers. Sorry for wasting your time about that, but I was just trying to make it clear, but anyways, um, in case you don't have, like, you know, all your information like this, and it's just like, you know, put an IP and something like this. Um, you would probably want to find, like right here, IP4 address. This is what you want to find. You want to find your IP4 address, 192.168.172. As you can see, my stuff is already there, but in your case, it's probably not going to be. So you'd put 192. Dot, there's already a dot, so 168, uh, 1, and then 172 here. And then you want to look for the custom ports. Um, some routers, you can only do one at a time, such as TCP, and do that or UDP but mine lets me do both so let's say you're port forwarding rust um I can't remember what it was I think if I'm sure it's like I don't know what the port would be so I'm gonna s oh that, that wasn't what I meant to do let me go ahead and fix that real quick sorry so let's say so I put in that IP so then uh, Rust dedicated server. The ports are 28015. So I would for TCP enter that in. 
click add. I already have I already have it added, so that's why it gives me that input error. I already have it added. For UDP, I'd put the same thing, but I already have it added, so I'd put. But in my case, I'd put both, so I'd have to put each individual one. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> but pretty much, you do the same exact thing. So you always want to do. You basically to make it really simple and dumb it down to the very best I can. Go into your command prompt, look for your IP4 address, where you put your IP, you want to put in your IP4 address, like I said, so from here, as you can see, 192.168.172, that's your IP4 address. And put all that here, where you would put your, specify your IP, and for the custom ports, you want to pick both if you can't, just do UDP and TCP both times, and do the port number of the game. You can just look up what the port number of the game is for Rust. It's 2A015. I'm pretty sure, more than likely, if this is an older version or something and they change the ports, then I'm sorry, I'm giving you the wrong info. You could just look it back up in case you have issues. And you just click add, and then sometimes you router needs to click apply, so I'd hit apply, and you know, there you go. In case, three, I'm going to give you three more uh, little help kind of things. One is if let's say if your server says that it can't be found on the official browser, but it shows up, you can here I'll go show you. I'm on my website right now, um, and I actually have the banners for my servers. <clears throat> this is my website, and as you can see, I have the banners for my server, and they say online. Um, what I would recommend doing is here's my. Okay, so what I would recommend doing, as you can see, you can, this site basically shows all your ser all the servers on Rust. You can add your own server and basically, yeah, you can add your own server. Um, and you would go right here, address, and you would basically put in all the IP information, and you'd click check connection. And if that says we cannot connect to your server. That most likely means your server is not correctly port forwarded. Sometimes, this is one of the ways you can do it to check, but more than likely it doesn't work sometimes. So, another way you can check is you can go into the game, open the console, enter the IP, and it'll connect you. Another thing is if people, if you can join the server and your friends can't, that means it is not port forwarded correctly and you need to keep retrying. So, if you're having like retried after three tries or failed connecting please try again or some crap like that that means you did not port forward correctly and you need to try again um i'm sorry if you do have any problems please leave a comment i'll definitely be able to help you if i can't then i'm very sorry i'm just one person you know sorry if i can't help you with any of your problems but i'll be trying my best if you guys do have any problems like i said leave a comment be sure to hit that like button if this did help you i would really 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 appreciate it if you did and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.